Hi, hey buddy. This is Mr. Folly. And welcome to Podcast 14.1, where we are going to look at different types of acids and bases. Conjugate acids and bases. Excess concentrated is a Lewis acid base reaction. That's that reaction that you guys always kind of get wrong. KA expression, expression, acid strength, how it's really power. Um, from KA, an acid strength from molecular formula. pH equations, calculating acidity given KA and molarity, and we should be able to cruise through this one. So let's start heading out. Um, types of acid. First of all, there's the Arrhenius acid. It's, hello, I'm an acid. Starts with an H. And then the, oh, I'm a base, and ends with an OH. And really, it says, gives H positive in solution. But in order to give that in solution, you usually have to have one. And, oh, I'm a base, um, makes OH negative in solution. So whenever you drop it in water, it creates those things. Um, which I guess is what I wrote down right there. Um, Brown said, Lowry, acids are H givers and bases are H receivers. Um, aqueous acetic acid in water. So if you remember, acetic acid is H, uh, I'll write it the inorganic way, C2H3O2 plus H2O. Um, it's an equilibrium reaction because it is weak. Because it's weak, I write it together. So if it's acetic acid, acids are H givers, so that means I'm going to get c 2 H3O2 negative. Notice it gave up an H. And water is going to receive an H and become H3O positive. So my conjugates, so first of all, this is my acid because it gave an H. It's a giver. Um, and this is my base because it received an H. And then in the reverse reaction, um, if I'm going from right to left, um, these guys, notice how, oops, let me make sure that's a plus. I'm um, going from right to left, notice how H3O positive has an extra H, and it's an H giver. So if it's an H giver, that's an acid. If it is right, acid. Maybe you remember that. I hope so. Um, C2H0O2 would be an H taker or receiver, which means it's a base. So to show you, um, H3O positive, if it gave an H, would turn into water. And C2H3O2, if it received an H, would turn into acetic acid. And there are your conjugates. Um, Lewis acid base is a new type of acid base. It is the best description. Um, although we really use Bronsted Lowry more often um, because they overlap an awful lot. Um, an acid is an electron pair acceptor. And a base is an electron pair bequeather. Base, bequeath. To bequeath means to give, usually after you bite it, but still. Um, and that's it. So a base means to give, and an acid is to accept. This, by the way, has no electrons. H positive has no electrons. OH negative has a plethora of electrons. So if it has that many electrons, that means it can give electrons easily. Oh, so if I have excess concentrated sodium hydroxide, which would be, <laughs> oh, I remember to ionize. I'm so happy. Hydroxide, bam, blam, 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 blam. Why only the first dot would show up? It's driving me nuts. Um, is added to a solution of aluminum chloride. Now it's a solution, and because it's excess concentrated, I know I'm going to have just my D block metal or aluminum show up here. Now, what aluminum does, aluminum plus three especially, is just this big screaming, I'm empty um, thing looking for um, electrons to fill its um, wonderful world. If you notice, these OH has four, uh, three regions, sorry, and each of those guys have places that can go through it. Now, looking at this, um, you would expect ALOH taken four times negative one. Four OHs, each OH is negative one, and aluminum is plus three, which is why it'd be negative one, and that is one of the choices. The other choice, remember, is AL triple this charge. OH taken six times with a charge of negative three. Both of them are acceptable. Remember, um, this number down here is because of the charge. It's double the charge of aluminum. That's it. So. Lewis is electron pair, um, acid is acceptor, base is bequeather. Ka is pretty much the same as Kc. Let me get rid of the P pretty much. It is the same as Kc. 
HA reacts with water. HA is a weak acid, so it is aqueous. Reacts with water, which is wet and a liquid. And you get H3O positive plus A negative. I shouldn't have to tell you the state of matter of these guys because they have ions on them, but I will. It would make many of our other teachers happy. Okay, so if it reacts with water, a Ka expression is going to be Ka, which is K, which is all the same, H3O positive, parentheses because it's in molarity, A negative times ha. And that's it. Water is not involved because it's a liquid, so it is a constant. So far, so good. Ka tells the acid strength, but say power. Because if you say it's a strong acid, that means it ionizes 100%. So a strong acid ionizes 100%, so I try and dodge the word stronger. A bigger K means more ionization, so more powerful. I just want you to know they're going to use the word, but I don't want you to think of it that way. Powerful acid. What is the K of a strong acid? It's infinity. Because remember, it's H3O positive times A negative over HA. And remember, they ionize 100%, but it's really only just a smidgen less. So that means the top number is infinity, and the bottom number is approaching zero, which means it's just big. So which is, which is stronger? A, well, anyway, which is stronger? A stronger acid. Ka. Well, again, I don't know what I'm saying here. So, which is a stronger acid? How about that? Ka equals ch -ch -ch -ch, which everyone has a Ka that is bigger, and the biggest one would have a smaller E value. So, goodbye E negative five. Looking at the E negative fours. In this case, 2.5 is bigger than 1.5. I just had a discussion on 2.5 being bigger than 1.9. Sorry about that, but that's it. Measuring acidity, memorize these. Um, memorize them and store them in your calculator if you know how to do that. If not, just store them. We'll use these, but you need to know where to find them in the buttons on your calculator. So write them down. We're going to use them a ton today and forevermore. So this should be like the inside of your notebook or whatever it is. Get yourself a tap. Calculate the acidity. So if you're calculating the acidity of something, Ka is what we said before. H positive usually equals A negative. So Ka equals H positive squared over HA, of course, in brackets, if you're dealing with an acid by itself, which is common. It's not the only thing that happens, but it's common. Okay, so if you have these things, if it's just what is the pH, a question that looks like this is, what is the pH of X molar weak acid? And if that's all you have to do, this is your easier equation to use. For nitrous acid, notice it's weak. How do I know it's weak? Because I know it's not strong, and anything given a Ka says, Psst, I'm weak. Okay. So Ka equals 4 times 10 to the negative 4. Calculate the pH of 0.99 molar HNO2. That's like the exact same thing I just told you how to do. So there's two ways to do this. The first way is the ice diagram, which is what I will always do, but you can remember the thing that I showed you before. So HNO2 plus water gives me H3O positive plus NO2 negative. So notice this H goes to water. Blah, 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 blah. Nice. Um, I have 0.99 molar nothing, nothing, minus X plus X plus X, 0.99 minus X, X and X. Um, Ka is uh, H0 positive times nitrite over HNO2. So pluggy and chuggy. So Ka is 4E negative 4. Yeah, 4E negative 4. I'll change my color, I hope. 4E negative 4 equals x squared. Notice how these are the same. x squared is going to be common over 0.99 minus x. Solve for that bad boy. Now, the other thing that I'll tell you is if your Ka, well, no, I'm not going to tell you that. So solver that. That's why we have our solver. So 4 second comma e negative 4. <laughs> negative sign. I don't have my own calculator here. Negative 4. There we go. And 
and your answer should be about um, x equals 0 0.0199 molar. And if that's the molarity of it, that equals H3O positive. So pH is negative log H. And remember, it's very important to know H3O positive and H positive equal exactly the same thing. So if I negative log 0 0.019, yeah. negative log second answer is 1.7. And then pH, remember, is unitless. Yay. Determine the molarity of a solution with a weak acid has a pH of 1.285. Okay, so I've got a weak acid, HClO2, which is chlorite. Yes, chlorite would become chlorous acid. So HClO2, you're excited for a nice diagram, aren't you? You're probably not very excited that this is going to go over 15 minutes. But you already knew that when you looked at it. HO positive plus ClO2 negative. Um, so molarity of the weak acid. Oh, so I'm trying to find molarity. So what I know is, and what I can do here is my shortcut. Ka is H positive squared over HA. So if I have my Ka is 1.1 E negative 2 equals H positive squared. Now pH is 1.285. So if pH is 1.285, 10 to the negative pH equals H positive. So 10 to the negative 1.285 is my answer. So to do 10 to the negative, whatever that is, you hit second log negative 1.285, enter, and that would be 0 0.05188 molar. So 0 0.05188 molar squared, I don't know why I put the molar in there, over x. And then do a little bit of math. So square the thing I have in my, in my computer, divided by 1.1, so I'm going to e negative 2. I just called my calculator computer. I promise you I'm not 80, but I'm close. So x is 0.245 molar. And remember, this is... HA, and HA is HClO2. And A stands for any, so if that drives you nuts, well, deal with it. All right, strong acids are easier to do because of their KAs. Do 26 first, so I'll do 26 first. Um, calculate the pH of a 0.022 molar strong acid solutions. Now, if it um, is a strong acid, it will ionize 100%, so 0.0, if I could write down 0.022 molar HA that's strong equals 0 0.022 molar H positive because it ionizes 100%. So simply negative log 0 0.022. Negative log 0 0.022 is 1.66. Yeehaw. Okay, the POH of 5.9 molar solution of HCl. So if HCl is a strong acid, and it is because I've memorized it, then 5.9 molar HCl means I have 5.9 molar H positive. So what I'm going to do first is get my pH. So pH is negative log of H. I would not write out all of these things, but it's kind of the first time we've done it. Negative log of 5.9 should be an ugly number. Negative log 5.9 is negative 0.77. Can I have a pH that's negative? Sure you can, and I mean that. Sure you can. Negative 0.77 is my pH. Um, pH, i uh, change my color at least, pH plus pOH equals 14. The rationale behind that gets kind of ugly when you have a negative pH, but negative 0.77 equal, I'm sorry, plus, I'm going to call that X, equals 14. So pOH, which is my X, is 14.77. There you go. Acid strength without numbers. Um, something is acidic, the H bond is very polar. More O's draw the electrons away from the H, increasing the polarity. So what that means is if I have something without um, an oxygen, let's say I have H2S, um, and I have, let's, uh, this doesn't exist, but pretend there was H2SO. This extra oxygen um, 
because the oxygen is very polar. It's so polar it increases the polarity between this bond. So your polarity between your S and your H or your O and your H or whatever it is, oxygens increase polarity. When you increase polarity, you increase acidity. Um, the bond will break where it's more acidic. So what's more acidic? It's just the one with more O's. It is exactly that simple. Whichever one has more O, I guess these two both have the same O's. Um, but on this guy, the one that's more acidic is also the one um, that has, well, it's got more O's, um, but it has more H's. So um, we're going to get into that a little bit more next time. But um, every time you pull off an H, it takes, it's about 10,000 times harder to pull off the next one. So this H3PO4 is about 10,000 times stronger acid than H2PO4. Now 10,000 times is uh, something like E to the 5. So you're looking at K differences of E to the 5, which doesn't seem that big when you put it that way. Um, important part about this is if I have K, O, H, the reason why this is a base is the difference in electronegativity is bigger between K and O. That's where the split happens. If I have H, um, oh, that probably wasn't the best example, but if I have, um, what's something that would be not as acidic? Um, if I have HSO3, so let's just say S to O to H, um, which by the way, all of these oxy acids, it attaches to the, um, the hydrogen attaches to the oxygen. Um, S to O, this right here, is small, er, so no break. This guy right here is bigger, and that's why the break happens there. So, good news is I'm only five minutes over, it looks like. Um, review, Lewis is best, then Bronsted, then Arrhenius. Bronsted is the most functional one, and the most questions come about it. Lewis is um, excess concentrated, and that will be the question that always comes with it. Ka is basically Kc. <laughs> Get it? It's basically. <laughs> um, know your pH equations. I'm glad I have the radio edit for that. Um, H is going the O's for oxy acids, and you need to know how to be stronger. So, with that, I will leave you with the uh, joy of Kanye and another podcast coming up. Talk to you in class.